Welcome. Welcome back to my bedroom. How gross is that? It's episode 25, which means there's one more episode of the fucking ridiculous podcast left in 2022. And that will officially mean that I am halfway done with my year. So next week we'll do a little bit of a year in review or a half year in in review. But I just wanted to say, I'm sorry for this being late. I know it doesn't bother you. But being late does bother me. It used to not until I developed children who don't give a shit about being late. And now that is a very big deal to me. So I try very hard to at least be on time and maximize the time that I can. As a multitasker and as someone who wants to spend as much QT as possible with people. So I hope that you are having a very happy, very healthy week before Christmas in Kwanzaa and that your Hanukkah celebrations were fantastic. And if there are any other holidays that I'm missing, I hope they too were joyful and wonderful. So the favorite question to ask is, are you ready for Christmas? No, I am not. Will I ever be ready for Christmas? No, I will not. Am I so excited for the 26th? Yes, I am. Do I feel bad about that? Yes, I do. But that's how it is. So in keeping with like being real about stuff, I'm going to say some really good stuff and I'm going to say some not so great stuff and I'm going to keep it short and sweet today because you know what? We all have so much shit to do. We got to get on with it, right? Okay, so apparently this particular thing that I'm using only records like up to a certain amount of time. So I'm going to have to be really fast actually. So I'm not even going to talk about things in the news because... I think there's a lot of stuff going on with football and people are trying to get to games that are happening after Christmas and some people aren't recruiting properly and um, Zelensky's coming to to see us here in the States, but we got to keep that on the DL because that could be troublesome for all of us. Um, You know, I've I've, I've really kind of had my head up my ass trying to to get through this week um, with everybody being out of school and stuff going on. So... I'm going to give you a few little fun updates, though. The NHT is alive and well, and I think I recall last week saying that I felt like the universe was kind of against the NHT happenings in 2022 will allow me to say that the universe understood and they delivered beautifully this past weekend. My sister-in-law and I went down to Raleigh where we went shopping for some Christmas gifts because Richmond does not have as good a shopping as Raleigh. And then we had a lovely little wine lunch and then we went to the game. And because she was a noob, this was her first time on the NHT, she understood that I was leading the pack so we could get there early and we could do all the things that I wanted to do. We had the best time. We saw the Dallas Stars and I've been wanting to see them for a while and they totally delivered. Carolina won in overtime, which was exciting because you know you always root for the home team. And my sister-in-law lost her phone. So all in all, it was a fun night with, with a lot of ridiculousness going on. The next day, my niece, who was one of her daughters, that's the, the sister-in-law is the favorite, just so we so, so we're clear. And then so her daughter who is the nurse, came down with herself and her best friend. And so we were going to another game. And that game was even cooler because I had to, got to experience with my, my, with, you know, my girls. But I would definitely say start to finish and finish was late. It was like a 1230 a.m. kind of a time frame, not the game, just us. The, The top three highlights of the NHT were as follows. And I joke because I pick boyfriends for my my niece and her friends, even though they already have boyfriends. But I was like, all of our boyfriends played beautifully and um, looked amazing and acted amazing. Um, we did get on the Jumbotron. My niece was super pumped about that. And late night, we made a run for the border. And what by that, I mean, I consumed Taco Bell for the first time in about, I don't even know, I definitely double digit years. And it was delicious. Delicious. I mean, I cannot tell you how excited I was about the Taco Bell late night fest. And so for that, I am very grateful to my niece and her friend. Moving on. 
uh, the Keurig Nespresso coffee issue that I've been having has now come full circle because the Keurig finally gave me the finger and blew up. And so now all the coffee grounds are everywhere. See picture there. So Santa is going to have to do something about this coffee situation because we can't live without it. And the Nespresso is just, it, it's not going to produce as much as we need in the quantities that we need. So there's that. Um, I don't know if you've ever been in a situation where like you see a picture of someone or, and you're like, Oh my God, I love that look. I totally want to look like that person. And so that is what just happened with me and my hair. So I got my hair cut just a moment ago, like well, a couple of hours ago. And a friend of mine had sent me a picture of a celebrity who she thinks I favor. And that is not the first time I have heard this one. And I find it to be a compliment because I think this person is beautiful. That is not to suggest that I think I am beautiful. I think this person is beautiful. So I was like, oh my God, I want my hair. I like that hair. Let, let's do that. So I do that. I tell my friend who does my hair, I was like, She's like, that's a great inspiration. Let's do it. Well, in the picture, her hair's curled and I was running out of time, whatever. So my hair's not curled. So the long and short is I'm probably never going to look like the picture, but that is why I now am sporting like, you know, basically 10 inches off my hair from when you first met me. So, but I do feel like more of a grown up, which I don't know if that's good or not. So in other fascinating news, I woke up this morning and I've been having some issues with my contacts. And so I thought that like one was bad. And so anyway, I'm like pulling my eyes open to put them in there. And I realized, no, my eyes like really swollen. And so then I put a little compress on it. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Anyway, then when I go to put on a little makeup, it like hurts to the touch. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? So now, of course, I have decided that I either have one of two things, pink eye which is awful. So tomorrow I will wake up and my eye will be crusted shut or I have a sty developing due to stress and anxiety over the upcoming holiday weekend. So either way, that sucks. Merry Christmas. Okay, so to keep this short and sweet, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, I have been in a really not great mood since Monday. Monday, I had to go to a funeral for someone who was far too young to pass away and left three small children, and it breaks my heart. And there are more reasons why it breaks my heart, but I won't even go into that now. I did celebrate the anniversary, the one year anniversary of my mom's passing last week, and that was not exactly, you know, fun. Um, <clears throat> I do not really like this time of year. I don't like myself this time of year and I'm a big stress ball and I'm like definitely irrational and I don't have my like jovial life self going. So, um, it has taken me a lot just to be able to record something that wasn't just like me trying not to cry, <laughs> but I'm doing it. Now, in true to form, I like to go ahead and pack the schedule as much as I possibly can because no time wasted. Um, I have had uh, a contractor here painting a room and um, trying to, to redo this mud room. And I literally, we look like Sanford and Son. We have everything that was in that mud room outside on our patio and it is about to sleep tonight. So I'm really hoping that they finish. And I'm really hoping that someone in my house, other than my husband who's sick, of course, helps me to get this stuff inside um, because that would kind of suck ass or we just throw it all away. And at this point, that's where I am. In other good news, however, I'm about to attend an ornament exchange for my supper club. I'm super excited because it's one of those white elephant ones where you steal and stuff. And last year I got this gem, my idol, Betty White. So I'm hoping this year I really, really crush it again. My ornament that I'm giving though is awesome see picture. I cannot wait. I hope Catherine gets it because she'll know exactly what it is. I'm going to go with my deep thoughts and get the fuck out of here or not so deep thoughts rather. Um, deep thought number one, not so deep thought number one. Um, you can have too many black turtlenecks. I have just learned this in my own personal wardrobe. It has about four items in it and three of them are black turtlenecks. Okay. Two, you will never, ever, ever look as good in the mirror as you do in your head. So keep that going. Number three, everyone is vibing. Everyone's vibing. And if you're not using that word, if you're not vibing, then you are not a part of the human race apparently right now. So I'm just going to leave you with that as well.
I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you all of the best in your dealings with your family and your experiences. And I just want to give a real quick shout out because one of the reasons that I have been super frustrated this week is because I have raised kids that do not need anything. They need nothing. And I don't like it when I feel like we, as a world, are just spending money to spend money to give people gifts when it actually should be really about the thought. And I'm just tired of it. And I don't want to do it anymore. How much you get is not indicative of how much someone loves you. And I hope everyone remembers that as we go forward and celebrate baby Jesus' birthday.